Guys, someone called 50 Cent to take him to the candy shop because like hell, Pete is saying this girl can't keep up. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. Guys, in this video, we'll be talking about Pete Davidson spilling all about his relationship with Kim to his friends. So if you're new here, rest assured that you're going to want to go ahead click that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. So let's get into it. Now we know that it has been about three weeks that Kim and Pete Davidson broke up. Now that news came as a surprise to some fans who were rooting for the couple, but for most of us, it was actually no surprise because we could hear Pete teasing and mocking celebrities like Kim Kardashian on numerous occasions during a stand-up comedy. Now, since the breakup, it's been reported by a magazine that Pete Davidson is spilling all that happened between the sheets as it relates to him and Kim. Now, it is said that Pete Davidson got tired of Kim Kardashian because Kim was just not able to keep up in the bedroom basically pete is saying that kim is definitely just boring she does not initiate and during that moment of intimacy kim is not really doing anything so to speak so what pete is saying is that kim kardashian has so much insecurities that she consistently has the need to be reassured remember when i told you guys that P got tired of Kim because he was focused on his career and Kim was being too needy. I was exactly right. I did say it. No, guys. Is this any surprise to us? No. We've seen that sex tape. It wasn't appealing. It was just another sex tape. And we understand that Pete should not be spilling the beans. But hey, it seems as though something is going on behind the scenes why Pete is telling all of this information to his friends. No, rest assured that if this is factual, they are going to cancel Pete Davidson because you know, Kim doesn't like anyone talking any unpleasantries about her. Now, a couple weeks ago, someone, I think it was Tasha K that said, Pete told Kim to go home to her husband and I said that I believe that because listen, Pete is a younger guy. Pete is saying, look, my sex drive is really high and this old bitch can't keep up. She needs to go home to her husband. And I, and I honestly believe that is what happened. No, this is what happens when you've done so much to your body. Your body does ha have, doesn't have any natural fats to sustain it. So I believe that this woman is just out there saying that she loves sex and she has this amazing sex drive when in reality she is cold and dark and dead inside and that's just the honest truth because i mean if you think about it kanye loves this woman for who she is and i think that after the kids kanye just wanted to keep his family together it doesn't matter how um, she was in the bedroom, whether she was impressive to him or not. I think that Kanye was the type of guy who would really take his wife to the moon and back, if you know what I mean. And Pete is not that kind of guy. Pete is not ready to settle down, irrespective of the fact that he was engaged to Ariana. Pete wants to go there and lay his lizard here, there, and everywhere for a little while. Maybe when Pete is in his 30s, Maybe at that point, he'll be serious about settling down. Or if he finds that partner where that woman energy matches his, she has money, high sex drive like Pete, then I believe that at that time, Pete will truly be ready to settle down. Now, this woman, Kim Kardashian, has blasted her husband so much in the media, saying that she doesn't want back Kanye. Listen, I don't think any man outside of Kanye wants Kim at this time, to be very honest, because we know that she has been around the blocks a few times. No, I know that everyone has a past, but you know what makes this look so horrible? It's because initially, 
when Kanye married Kim, many of these artists came out to say, Kanye, you cannot marry a hoe. But Kanye married Kim. He put her on a pedestal. He worshipped her. He honored her so that everyone could see that, hey, she's not the person that you once know. She has changed. She's a wife. She's a mom. She's a business mogul. Kanye made Kim who she is today. And guess what Kim did? She stabbed that man in the back the moment that she felt that her and her family was set and secure for life. It was no longer good enough. Now, people say that Kanye used to cheat. Baby, listen, based on what Pete is saying, if Kanye used to cheat, I guess now we know why. Now, we understand that men cheat for various reasons and it doesn't have anything to do with the woman in the bedroom why men cheat. Men cheat because they want to cheat. But with all that Pete is dishing about Kim, I think that Pete is doing way too much at this point and he needs to let what happened in the bedroom between him and Kim stay in the bedroom. But then again, I'm going to say she deserves it. She deserves it because she used Pete to get back at Kanye West and slammed her husband a man who she has four kids with on social media. And she told the world that she pursued Pete because of his big penis. So even though Pete had the big penis, she could not keep up with that. She could not satisfy Pete. She was such a bore to Pete that Pete was like, okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm over this. You're not a child. I can't keep reassuring you. And you're so obsessed with these procedures that... You're not even looking appealing. Ooh, no, that explains that Instagram video that Kim did. That video where she was, that thirst trap video where she was in a two-piece bikini and those Yeezy boots. That video definitely tells the story that she's saying, you know what? I still got it. And that's the reason why she was there in Kanye's studio posing, taking all those photos to prove to Pete that her husband still wants her. But Kanye is not giving Kim the time of day. That man is over and done. The moment that Kim burns Kanye with Pete, that man was like, uh-uh, back to the streets for you, boo. Back to the streets for you, Kim. That's all I have to share in this video with you guys. If Pete is doing this, there's a lot more to come. And it means that there's some war behind the scenes and eventually everything that is, the, that is in the dark will eventually come to light. And Kim, like hell, deserves it for what she did to Kanye and her kids. That's all I have to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. And remember to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.